Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Free Squad Carry, coming back at you with part two of my Game Sense series. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on my first video. I want to thank all of you guys for uh, watching it. I'm really, really glad you guys could have got, yeah, got some tips and tricks from it. Uh, so also, let me know what you guys want to see. I've, uh, I know Game Sense is something that a lot of people are debating, like, oh, what is it? How, how can I improve on it? So make sure you let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. I'm down. I'm, I'm open to... I'm doing this to hopefully help as much people as I can. So let me know what you guys want to see. And a uh, little note for this game. There's no sound. I got copyrighted while playing it, unfortunately. So I put some uh, music in the background. This one's uh, it's from NCS. So there's uh, this one's not going to get copyrighted, thankfully. I, I recently played the game. So I'll just be able to tell you guys everything that goes through my mind again. I'll uh, highlight... If uh, you need to look at the sound. So yeah, here I'm Jumpmaster. Uh, my team, Lifeline, Pathfinder. Again, this is uh, could be an aggressive kind of combo. Or uh, team composition, I guess. But uh, I always play solo. I never play with teammates. So at this point, I'm just going in as Wraith. Hopefully my teammates will be able to, you know, help me out during the play. So we're landing here, Capital. Landing above. Right away, it's a terrible drop by me. It's a horrible drop by me. I'm just going to go back here. Look at this. I'm landing here. At that point, I already know. Okay, I don't see any weapons here. There should be some weapons at some point here. It's a, it's a loot spot. I'm landing here. Nothing. Oh, crap. Okay. I, there's another team landing right above me. Right next to me. Sorry. So here, I'm already behind. Right? I should have landed right into this hole. I should have gone right in right away. Not land up top and then drop. I should have just went right in and then land in here. Either here or all the way down here. So, whenever I land, first thing I'm looking for is armor and weapon. Helmet is not that much of a priority, but definitely body armor and a weapon. So here we go. I'm here, getting a prowler to start with. Now I see, I quickly gl I look to my right, and I see two dudes, right? I see two of uh, two guys. So I'm starting to take some shots here. The whole point of this is I want to know if they have armor or not. So I'm taking shots, I'm missing a lot here, unfortunately Prowler at distance isn't the greatest. I should have used my ADS here. There's another mistake that I just made. ADS. The target is... When playing with the Prowler, it's... You know, it comes with experience, right? You have to experience the game enough to know your distances with weapons. But right here, they're way too far for me to use hip fire. I should have gone for the ADS, but I didn't. So here I miss, I don't know if they have armor yet. So I'm going to be using line of sight here again. I'm using this ball just to get line of sight. And you see me go look back and forth to my right. I'm just looking to see if my teammates are helping. And now, boom, I see my teammate here and you're going to see me push here, right? So why? Now I got backup. I have armor. I'm not sure if these guys have armor, but they just landed here. So I know that they have very, very little items or guns, right? Because we just landed and they... I think, I'm not sure, they like landed right above me. Right? There was a Bangalore that landed up top, and then she dropped down, and they're right here. So I know in my head that these guys don't have much, right? So I want to be I want to be aggressive. I want to get intel, however. I want to know if they have armor. Maybe someone picked up a purple armor. I still don't know that. So I move up. I slide. I use this pillar here, and then you're going to see me. Boom. Now I get some intel. I see he's got white armor. And now the whole point here is I want to be able to not only know where they are, so I have to listen here and know where they are. But I also have to keep looting. My loadout is not that great, right? I only have a mag and a half. Well, two mags if you count the one that's already in. Two mag and a half. Barely. I have no heals. And then I need an off weapon. And here I get a devotion. It's a re devotion is a really good weapon early game. Any energy ammo weapon is pretty decent early game. So if you catch someone with white armor or no armor, this thing is just going to melt you, right? So here I see a body all the way down there. I started. I popped my cell and then I see I see I see this body armor the reason why I stopped I didn't pop the cell and I went for the body swap is simple I want to keep the cells right it's early game uh, I do not know where the heels are in I, I only have two cells here so I want to save them as much as I can and the armor was blue so it's like hey it's a no-brainer go for it body swap now again listening just a little tips for you guys since there's no sound in this game I want you to look at my teammates here I want you to look right here. You're going to see some muzzle flash popping right to the right of their uh, UI name, right? So if you see muzzle flash here, that basically means they're be Well, that it does mean that they're shooting, so they're engaging someone. So, again, now I know there's teams around. 
I got some intel. I know someone has white. There's a Bangalore here. So I, she just popped her uh, smoke and then boom. Wow, what a mistake here again, guys. All right. So movement. Movement at Apex Legends is probably... Uh, I'd say it's... Aim is more important, but movement in this game is so important. You guys need to be able to do what, what I'm actually missing here a lot. So you have to practice your parkour skills in Apex, right? So here I'm trying to do the strafe climb, and I just cannot get it. I think I tried like three or four times. I'm trying to get up. I don't get it. I'm like, wow. I remember being really frustrated by that. I was like, all right, well, gave up. I gave up on that. Now you see my teammates are being pushed, they're getting shot. That's my lifeline here. My Pathfinder is really far off. I'm not sure where he is. So I'm playing with my lifeline here. Now I know she's being engaged, so I'm going to go in. You see the muzzle flash here to the bottom left. Now I see the Bangalore, so I'm pushing in. Now this is going to be really simple, nothing really impressive. It's just a strafe game. Boom. I see, she doesn't see me, so she do, she, sorry, she does not see me first. So I get the first bullet, the first shot, which is really good. So here we go. I get a 14 damage here, okay, and then it's just strafing. Strafe right, left, I dodge every single bullet from that Bangalore. Really easy, guys, just strafe left, right, make it a little bit unpredictable, but make sure you move. Always move in this game, never, never, never stand still. Cool, so, I just downed a Bangalore, I know that, and now, as I go here, unfortunately, I get no sound, but I hear a uh, Watson putting a fence up, so I know they're all the way up top. I go up, and then boom, I Q here to go through her fence. So as a Wraith, if you Q through the fence, it will, it won't do anything to you, right? So you, you guys all know you're pretty much, well, you are invincible when you Q with Wraith. Again, I just want to point out I use E, but I'm going to be saying Q here just for the, for, just for the sake of the video, right? Cool. So I'm all the way up top here. I get height. The reason why I want to point out as well, I, I pushed up. This is not something you want to do if, if you're not confident with your uh, with your aiming abilities and your gameplay. This is something that I see happen a lot in the game where players are going to be pushing you. Let's say I have a high ground and then players are going to be climbing up walls to push you while you have the high ground. You, you kind of don't want to do that. In this game, the sound is super loud, right? So if you're climbing, I'm going to hear you right away. And then you're going to be locked in the climbing animation where you cannot shoot and I'm just going to melt you. Cool. So I get up here, I get height, and then I hear the Watson. So the Watson has to be up top. The fence is right here. And then I target acquire, and then I just go in for the kill. Nothing fancy, just straight up, you know, recoil control with the devotion. She goes down instantly, so I know that her team is down. And then you'll see here, again, I hear people down. You're going to see my lifeline engage soon. Just look at the muzzle flash here to the bottom left. She's going to start shooting down in the building. So, boom. That means it's a cue for me again. All right. There's another team here. Muzzle flash. She's fighting. You can see her fighting down. So, this is a pretty cool play, though. I, even though I made a lot of mistakes in this game, this is a pretty pretty sweet play. I'm waiting here because I'm expecting them to come up. They want to push my lifeline. I, I, I just felt it. I knew they were being really aggressive. And then, boom. <laughs> There's a Wraith coming up the zipline. I was just waiting for that. That's a, the only reason why I stayed there was for that specific reason. I wanted someone to go through this, being hit by the fence, and then I can melt them down. But then again, another little mistake. My, my recoil here wasn't the greatest. I don't play with the devotion that much. It's something I need to work on. Just, you know, controlling the recoil on that gun. Either way, she goes down. I get the loot. Now, my lifeline's finding a completely different team. Or a different player. I'm not sure yet. You see she's outside now. She's no longer in the building. I honestly don't know why I broke that. There was no point. I probably should have just left up top. Instead of going all the way down. That's another mistake that I made here. I should have just bailed. You know, probably use a zipline up top. There's a zipline that connects both buildings. So I definitely should have used that. Alright. Either way, I drop all the way down. My lifeline gets downed. So I know... She just got down here. She got, she's eliminated. So I know there's going to be a team here for sure. Now look at my loadout. A lot of meds. I have my ult. I have my Q. Full shields, blue shields. Purple mag. R99 with what? Four mags. If you include the one that's in it. Three and a half maybe. And then a devotion. At this point, I'm really feeling confident. All right. I know, I know lifeline's down here, so they're probably going to be healing. Maybe they're just going to be looting her body. So I kind of want to get a surprise element. So you're going to see me here. I'm just going in, 
Straight up. I want kills. I know they're going to be looting her. I'm not sure how many people there is. So you still got to be careful. As I come up here, boom. There's a team right here. So there's a Watson fencing up. Just get the fence down. It takes one bullet or two. And then again, it's very easy. You just, you just got to aim, right? I know I'm going to be fighting when I get up the stairs. I know that. So you have to be able to take away every stress, any worries that you have. And then just focus on the aiming. This is the main thing in this game. Again, it's a shooting game. Aiming is really important. So I've I've uh, I've gone again a lot of questions about yeah how do you get better how do you get high kills well first and foremost you have to be able to aim right and then there's gonna be movement and then game sense but aiming is definitely the most important in this game so make sure you work on that all right so I get my lifelines banner here I wanna speed this up a little bit for you guys so I got my lifeline banner here I just want her to to res the reason why like I I alted I use my port all the way up here is I really wanted to get my lifeline up quick. Reason is, is we're in capital right now. There could be, what, 10 teams, 15 teams. You don't even know. So at this point, I just wanted to, I wanted her to get up really fast. So I go back here. I get the res. She's going to be respawning. She's going to be looting up. And then again here, it's it's listening. It's trying to get intel. What's going on? Do I hear stuff? Is there is there a team? And unfortunately, again, there's no sound. But I can tell you it was fine. So there was no sound. So I was just trying to go around and loot, right? So you'll see me and then I get a crate. Crates are... Crates in this game is... They're pretty important. I would... Depending on... It's, it's always dependent. Everything is situational in this game, of course. But depending on your loadout, if you have white armor, if you, your guns are eh. Going for the crate is... It's a really good move. It's it's The odds of you getting a good item is just incredible, right? So usually you kind of want to push for them if they're close to you. Don't overextend. Don't put yourself in terrible positions just to get it. Because you have to be aware, right? You know you know it's there. So you know there's probably going to be a team. Maybe two teams that are going to be going for it as well, right? So just always be careful when you go for the crates. But if, if they're close or if your your loadout is eh, it's, it's, it could be one of your priority. But again... It all comes down to being situational. Cool. So here again, we're just looting. This place was not looted. Getting a bunch of ammo. Nothing really fancy here. My loadout, longbow R99. This is pretty much this is this is what I a long range and a close range in this game, right? You need to have a close range in this game. There's no doubt. You need to have something that once you're in close range, you're you're gonna be confident enough that you can output a lot of damage to your enemy. So always have a close range weapon, whether it's PK, the Peacekeeper, 99, whatever it is, always, always, always have one. And then have a long range slash mid range weapon. So here I'm just rocking a longbow. This is what I got initially. Wingman is good. 301 is good. The, even if, if you if you can keep uh, control your recall, even the flat line is pretty decent. Uh, there's a lot of options for you. So it's really, you know, trial and error. Try to figure out what guns you 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 like what what loadout you like right these are all things that you need to work on that are mechanics that i won't be talking too much in this video i want to be focusing on the thought process but all the mechanics like the recoil of the gun the you know the damage that the gun does your movement all of those are all things that you have to practice right you have to continuously practice those and then improve on them and then you when you put everything together in a bowl you just mix it that makes your play style so you put your game sense your movement your aim mechanics you put everything in there you mix that and boom that's your play style so you want to be able to experiment that so to do that what I, i've gotten a lot of comments is just how how do you practice again how do you get better well you need to get into fights you have to get into fights in this game guys dropping safe is is fun if you like looting if you're a shooter looter kind of guy but in this game you just want to get into fights and practice man the thing is you can drop safe Loot for 5 to 10. You can drop safe, loot for 5 to 10 minutes, and not even get, like, a good loadout. There's a lot of luck in this game, right? I can drop in the furthest spot and just get the terrible loadout, wide armor, and this terrible gun. And then I'm just running for 5 to 10 minutes, and I can get ambush. I can get one shot by one team and not even shoot a single bullet. So I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend you guys just start dropping hot. Get into fights. Start, start to get the feel of the, you know, the fighting... The fighting sequence, right? You want to include your movement, your aim, and then you're going to be put in a stressful situation. You want to be put in those situations so much that eventually 
it's just natural for you. Ne you, you won't even stress. It could be 10 teams around you, you're just not even going to be stressed. You're just going to be confident about your abilities to aim and to play, feel your game sense. So ultimately, the bottom line of this is just to practice, guys. Play. You got to play the game. All right, cool. So here I hear some shots. You'll see me. I go up the zip line. I see a team two guys here, and I see a team fighting there as well. So they're most likely, you know, it's the same two teams fighting each other. Let me slow this down right here. There we go. So I get shot here. I do a little cool trick. I fake leaving, and then I go back here, and it actually worked. Look at this. This guy actually stopped looking at me, and now he's helping his teammates. So I land. I'm like, oh, shoot. Free shoots. Cool. Boom. Boom. Again, a little mistake here. Missed a few shots. This guy should have died. Now Caustic comes up. I didn't hear him. This is just a gunfight. Here is a little cool tip again. This, this slide right here. Let me go back. Here. I just use a little slide. There's one cool thing, guys. If you look at the top left of my screen, you're going to see the VEL here. This is velocity. So it's my speed endgame. So if you look at this, it will tell you the speed burst that I get. If you, have, if you don't have your gun out, and you're sprinting, it's going to be at 299. This is going to be your velocity. If you have your gun out and then you sprint, it's going to be at 260. So think about it. I have my gun out. So 260 should be the top if I'm weaving, if I'm running right next to him. But I'm sliding and jumping. So look at how much higher the velocity gets. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a boost that I get, right? So I get the boost, jump. So that way, a little pressure on him. Oh, I missed. It's going to be right. It's going to be a little back. Let's just watch it again. So I get the shots here. I missed a couple. This Pathfinder definitely should have been dead. This is my mistake. It's my aim. And now this Caustic comes in. He gets the first shot. I look around. Getting some shots here. This is fine. And then here. Right? I'm going to go around. And then slide. And then again. Look at this. I'm already at 371. Instead of 260. This is a huge burst of speed, guys. Look at this. Whoop. And then I even get up to 400. And then there you go. I get the knock. Finished a kill, body swap here. Now, I wanted a body swap again because I knew his teammates would go back to me. Would come back right right behind because he sees his teammate getting knocked. So his teammate's going to turn around, look what's going on. They're going to see me. I'm exposed here. There's no cover for me. So I quickly went for the body swap. All right. It's got a little confusing here. Sorry, guys. So I get this. Uh, let's go back. So I get the here on the caustic. And then the Pathfinder comes back. Is he, this is just easy, you know, easy kill. Guy was standing still again. This is a good example. Just do not stand still. So here we're, we're good. Again, we're going to go back and loot. I just killed two guys. I know there's a team that was, like, the team that was fighting them. I'm not sure at this point if it was them that were knocked or not. So I have to assume there's still people, right? So I'm looting. I'm getting a quick loot. Yeah, I'm just getting my loadout. Again, like loadout specifics, guys. Uh, what you should load out, what we should should look like, like meds, uh, how many ammo you should get. This is all, again, mechanics. I'm not going to be going over this in this video. However, if that's something that you want to learn more from or about, just let me know, and I'll, I'm definitely going to go over that. Cool. So I get a pretty decent loadout here. Obviously, I want to go for the PK. I know it's it's not the, <laughs> the most uh, satisfactory weapon right now, but you have to think about it. I'm sort of playing this game as solo. There's no, I have no comms in my teammates right now. So if anything, the PK is just great for... I can pop two teams at the same time, right? So here. All right. So that was the team they were fighting initially. I hear them. There you go. So I get hide here. I just keep hide. I'm getting sniped from up top here. I think it's from behind me, actually. And then this guy's just in the open. I get the knock. This is easy. Just do not give up high ground here. If you have high ground, hold on to it. 100%. All right, cool. Now, I get this knock on this guy. There's a whole team that's come right, coming right behind me here. You, you can see the guy right here. It's a whole different team. I hear them, and then boom. I see them. I get the Pathfinder. All right, cool. Get some damage out. This is an easy kill. Again, just focus on aiming here. Focus on your aim. Trying to get the knock here. The finish, sorry. I don't get it. He's got white, uh, his blue armor, his blue shield. His teammate's coming back to, heal, to help him. Here, Gibby. Gibby goes down. Now, boom. I knocked two guys, right? Even at the first knock. let's We can just go back to the first knock. Let's just pretend that we're looking at the first knock. I get a knock on their team. So, at initial, right away, I know they're going to be under pressure. One of our teammates got knock. They just got the notification. And in their head, I know they're like, oh, crap, man. One of my teammates got knocked. 
I gotta push up and just try to help him before he actually finishes him, right? So the Gibby does that. Gibby overextended himself, exposed himself, no open here. I got just easy shots. I knocked him as well. And now it's, I know there's two guys knocked, right? So at this point, I'm super confident that the third guy is going to be under a lot of pressure. I just play slow here, hold back, pop a battery. It's going to be almost 75 HP. Just stay back, pop the battery, play slow. I know there's two guys knocked. There's no need for me to be aggressive or to push. They're going to be under pressure. They're going to be like trying to get the res, trying to, you know, hurry up, go, 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 get me. They're going to be pinging, you know, all that kind of stuff is going to be happening in their screen. So these are all things that I know, right? I have to, from experience, you know, that's how it goes, right? You know, when one of your teammates get knocked, you, you kind of have that like, oh crap moment in your head. And then your gameplay kind of change. You kind of want to be more aggressive. So I'm I'm using that. I'm using that to my advantage, right? I know this is what's happening in their head, so I use that to my advantage. So I pop a heal here really, really quickly, easy. I'm trying to get a knock on the Gibby here. I don't get it. Now I see a Wraith portal. So their third third teammate is 100% going to be a Wraith. There's no doubt about it. So I'm like, okay, here at this point, it's like, okay, well, what do I do? Do I are they is the Wraith gonna cancel her portal all somewhere down here or is she gonna just drop down and go all the way down there somewhere in my head i was like yo the best decision is hands down to just drop down and go as far as you can right if, if you go inside i'm gonna be fighting close quarters and this is it's not it's not great at all she knows i have a peace i don't know if she thought about this but she knows i got a peacekeeper so for her it was way it was a lot better for just leave go as far as you can so i assume that this is my guess so i go up top instead of going inside and then i spot the portal to the left. I'm trying to get some shots now. Another mistake that I made here. I took shots first and then I threw a nade. This is a no-no. I should have thrown the nade first and then take shots. So a huge mistake here. The reason why is I, I take shots, right? Boom, right here. Now they know I'm here. They know I'm here. So they, all they have to do is take back the portal or just line of sight. You see, I can barely see them. I only saw their feet. So what should have happened here is I take my nade, I throw it, and now they're going to have the notification, you know, that little icon is going to tell them that the, the grenade is there. And then as I'm throwing the nade, I can swap to my 99 and take shots before the nade even lands, right? So I could have done exactly that and get an extra nade explosion to happen as I started shooting. But I didn't do it. Like, as you can see, I shot the nade after. It's completely pointless. There was nobody there anymore. They just left. They knew what to do. So they bailed. I know they're out. So I'm trying to chase them. I know this path has no shield. Now this is just aim. This is the Wraith. I see the Wraith. Again, this Pathfinder most likely should have died. My aim was not the best. Here I see my teammate fight. I honestly, at this point, I just let my teammate fight him. I didn't take a shot. I wanted my teammates to get the kill. I should not because you'll see what happens next. So Storm is closing in, right? I just had fights. I should have been aware of the Storm a lot more. Once again, this is another mistake. I'm going to be caught in this Storm here. So my, my point was, okay, I'm going to be caught in a storm. I know I have a lot of heals, but I was like, hey, I'm going to finish this guy. Maybe he's got some med, med kit for me. So I go, take the, take a look. He's got a digi, which is really good. I'll take a digi. Didn't have any med kit, but hey, look at this. I got 17 syringes, so I'm safe in the zone right now. I know there's no rush for me. I know I can out heal it, but both my teammates go down, right? So I'm on a port here. I just want to get as much distance, get closer to the ring as best as I can. Hopefully my lifeline would take the port right here and then i stop the reason why i didn't res the path here is because look at my health if i'm resing the path i'm i'm not sure what's the timer on the res i think it's between four to five don't, don't quote me on that but the zone is hitting pretty pretty hard right so i i had to heal there and i'm getting shot from a team that's outside the zone so look at this so I, i'm here i'm like okay i'm gonna be safe here i have a lot of meds but there's a team that's shooting me from here, from south, southwest, right? So there's a team outside the zone that's just going to be gatekeeping that. They're going to be waiting for me. So I'm just taking cover in here and healing and just playing this super, super, super slow. I'm just waiting here. I'm like hoping this guy pushes into the storm. Look at this. He actually snipes me. I lose all my shields here. He actually gets me out of zone as I'm healing. So I'm kind of be, I'm panicking right now. I'm like, oh, crap. So what do I do? Get the med kit out. Now I'm going to be full health. It's fine. So I have three med kits. And 14 syringes. Now, this is a pretty funny spot. There's actually a guy in the storm behind us. So now you see my lifeline just got down. So this guy's just going around <laughs> killing my teammates that are already not. So you just saw him. I'm going to go back here. So you just see right here. He comes out of the portal. 
There's a lifeline coming out of pool, trying to kill my Pathfinder as I'm healing. Right here, guys, there's no way I'm canceling my medkit. There's no, 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 no. That's a no-no, right? I'm going to be dying either way. There's 2. seconds left, 2.7 seconds left, sorry. And I have about, what, 30 HP left? There's no way I'm canceling that to take a shot. Because if I can take a shot at him and hit for, what, maybe like 100 damage or 50 damage or whatever, and this guy has to, the only thing he has to do is turn around and then hit me with like almost just one bullet. If he has an EVA to PK, it's, 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 it's going to be GG. It's gonna be a good game. So here I'm just sticking the hill. You'll see. I stick the hill. This guy's just going for my teammate. Look at this. He goes back in my portal. My teammate did a really good job here. Zaf, man. Just going in and out of my portal, dancing my portals. It's a little tip that I gave you in my last video as well, guys. Uh, dancing in the portal. Now I get beamed by this guy outside the zone. I'm waiting for this guy to come back now, right? I know he's going to be coming back because my t I hear my teammate taking the port again. And then boom, this guy comes back. I PK to him for 120. And then he just dies. All right. Now, boom, I'm safe. I'm, I believe I'm safe. This guy died instantly. He wasn't knocked, so I'm safe from the back. At this point, it was just, yo, heal up real quick. You'll see me here. As soon as I get the knock, I'm popping his syringes right away. Here, boom, syringes. I don't think the mech kit would have made it. Maybe it would have. I'm not sure. But hey, I just went for the syringes right away. So here, this is a funny, sp funny part. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Not a funny part, but I'm just waiting in the zone and then out healing the zone here. I know there's a f most likely a full team outside just gatekeeping me. They know I'm here. They just saw me finish this guy. So I have to play slow here. I'm just in my head. I'm like, okay, I'm going to play super slow. Just out heal the storm. Uh, look at them. Like I'm trying to get visual here. What's going on? Do I see them? No, I don't. So here we go. I'm going to be healing. Let me speed it. I sped it up already. And then I, he throws a grenade, right? So he's still there. I know that. He just threw an aid, so he's still there. From his perspective, I probably would not have thrown an aid. That way, he would. I would have thought that the dude was gone, and then I would have pushed outside. But regardless, right? So he throws an aid, now it gives me intel. I know he's still there, or the full team is still there. So here I'm popping a med. I got enough time. Popping a med kit, and now I gotta think, yo, like, you gotta get out of here, man. This is not good. They're actually just gonna be standing there this whole time. They're gonna be waiting for you to come out. Alright, reload the PK here. The reason why I reload now is I know as soon as I'm going to be coming out of my E that I'm going to have to fight, right? So I could be fighting close range, long range. I don't know. So reload the PK, 9-9 ready. And then I Q out and look at this. What are these? This guy's right in front of me. He's right in front of me. Look at this. And then boom. Now it's a 1v1 fight. Bob and weave a little bit. I dodge a few bullet. I had to hit him four times with the PK, man. That was a big mistake by me again. Get the 9-9 out. Hit him once or twice with the PK and then just unload your 9-9. Alright, so big mistake here. That's a big no-no. If if you're in the position where you have like you have to shoot four times to kill a guy, thankfully this guy didn't have any good aim. Like I should have died to a good player there. If that dude had aim, I would have been dead 100%. It took me so long to kill him with the PK. Look, 50, right there, I should have swapped to the 9-9. After my second shot, swap to the 9-9. The DPS is going to be a lot higher, so he's going to be going down faster. All right, so I get the... He goes down here. Oh, it's already sped up, but whatever. So he's gone, and thankfully for me, the dude was by himself. So he was all by himself. There was nobody around him. There was He just died instantly. So I know at this point, I'm safe. I'm like, okay, I can heal up. Just go easy. You see me shake the screen here. It's just, it was for my teammate. I, I, a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but if you go back, I don't think I could have gone back for his, uh, for his, uh, for his banner. Maybe I could have. Damn, I don't know. But, hey, you see me? I just shake my screen just to let him know I'm sorry. I'm going to fat finger my E here, my Q. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. You see the shaking screen again. So, again, like, I think that was a big mistake by my, by me again. Not taking, not going for the, for the crate or for the banner of my teammates. Big mistake. And then I... I fat finger my E here as I'm hearing shots. So I have 20 seconds. I don't have a Q. So that's not good. I'm still pushing. I should be playing a little bit slow here. But hey, there's 10 seconds on my, my ability. Now I hear them. I see a Wraith coming out. This is just aim. I miss some shots. This is no good. Also, just a quick tips for all the Wraith out there. If you're in the position where you're one shot like this or two maybe then you e in the open uh, you're already you're you lost this dude should have e or queued right away as soon as i took a shot the first shot i took at him this guy should have queued instantly 
but he didn't. He let me hit, hit him twice, and then he bailed. It was an easy kill for me, an easy pick. That guy died instantly. So I know he doesn't have a teammate. Now I'm hearing shots. This is, I know that's not, he's not part of the other guy's team because the Wraith was uh, down instantly. So I know this is a completely different team. I get a 66 damage here. No shield. So I'm like, okay, well, I, I just hit him for 66. He didn't have a shield. So this guy's most likely one hit. He's like 20 HP. So I'm pushing. I want to get the kill here. I miss a pump and then I get it. Now, huge mistake by me again. This is no good. Look at this. I spend so much time. Let me slow it down here. I spend so much time trying to kill him, trying to finish him. Look at this. Wow. I spend what? Like almost five seconds. And like, I'm in the open right now. What the hell am I doing, man? I'm in the open and I'm just trying to get the snow. I was so greedy for the gold armor on this guy that I just decided to stand there and just trying to get him. This is no, no, man. Don't do that. I should have maybe used the portal, portal all the way back up, because I knew there was a team fighting here, man. All right? So, it's like, eh. Ugh, I don't like to watch it. But, hey, here we go. So, eh, either way, I, get, I did some pressure here on that guy who was there again. The reason why I did it, I'm just going to go back a little bit. A little bit more right here. So, you see me. I'm going to put some pressure here. I just don't want him to push me. Put some pressure on. Now, this guy's going to have to go and heal, so I know he's not a threat at the moment. I get some decent loot from this guy. Who? Team fighting. You see nades. Unfortunately, no sound. I'm sorry, guys, but you'll see there's a lot of fights going on. There's three squads left, including me. So I know it's uh, it's two squads left technically. So here, okay. So here I swap to the triple take. My shotgun has no ammo left. Look at this, right here. So Shotty has no ammo left. No shells. I only have three. Nine nine. I'm not sure. So Shotty's out the window. And here, I know. Hold on, I'm going to wait for this to come out. Get out of the crate so I can look at the map. Alright, so... Right here. I'm looking at the map. I know this is going to be close quarters, but... Look at all the distance there is, and I know this team's fine. Right here, these are all open spots. There's barely any cover. So I thought, hey man. I know the PKs... I have no more ammo on my PK. I still need a close range, as I said earlier. So I'm focusing on keeping my close range weapon, which is my 9-9. And then I was like, man, I'm going to be fighting two teams, like two full teams, in such a weird spot, such a open spot, that I need the sniper. So I went for the triple take here, just to be able to peek shots at people and like scare them, right? Not to push me, because I'm going to be super exposed here. All right. Then I'm going in. I see here, you see the guy. Oh, you'll see me sh take some shots. I spot him. I miss. And I'm getting shot by this guy. So here, big mistake, big no-no. Look at my position. Look at this position. It's terrible. It's horrible. I overextended for no reason. I should have stayed at that rock. Right here. I should have... Uh, no, no, not even. Hold on. Right here. Alright, so I'm moving up. I should have... Honestly, I should have just gone up. Get some height. I don't know why I didn't. I just stayed here. I just stayed down here. I heard shots. I was like, hey, I was feeling greedy, I guess. I was like, I want to get some shots. I want to get some damage. And then I spot this guy right here. And then I take shots right in the open. Look at this. Like, boom, I'm wide open right now, and I'm taking some triple take shots. That's a no-no. Don't do that, guys. And there's another guy here taking some shots at me. I'm not sure if he's on the same team or not. So, hey, I mean, I'm Wraith, so I kind of can't afford to overextend like that, but that's just not the right way to do it, right? So I go back, I Q, and I heal. And now it's like, well, what the hell is going on around me? There's a one team. Oh, I see three guys, so I'm like, okay, well, it's full team right there. I know, I know that for a fact. I get some peak shots at them now they're gonna have to be healing so they're not a threat for me well this guy still was but i know there's at least two guys that are gonna be healing so there's no threat here i don't think like this guy should not be pushing me if he does well we'll have to deal with it but and then i hear movement all the way up top right so even then i'm even in a worse spot i'm all the way down here there's a team up top and there was a team in that building that was just uh that was just taking shots at so here i'm thinking all right man i'm gonna ult i'm gonna get some movement here and I'm going to get height. So, I do that. Instead of, uh, let's go back here. You guys might be like, yo, why didn't you just go to the right here and then hit the cave? Yeah, I could have done that. But my thought process was like, yo, if I if I go to the right, I'm going to be exposed a lot. Again, there's not much cover. There was a team in the house I was just shooting at. And now I know there's at least one guy here, right? I don't know if it's a team or a guy. But there's, a, there's another team here. So, I'm going to have a team up top. 
shooting it at me and then that team down. So I'm going to be pinch. So in my head, I was, all right, I'm going to go behind the team up top. Hopefully that team will be engaging the team that I just shot at and I'll be able to third party. So that's the thought process behind it, right? So I'm going to alt here. I'm going to go and get the height. I just do not want to take any shots. I also don't want him to see me alt, right? So I alt here and I'm just going to be getting height again, as I told you. So I go here, I'm going to go around and here I hear them. They're there. I know I hear you'll see me. I'm moving up. There we go. I see a guy. Now I'm taking shots. I know he's got purple. It's a wraith. Again, not sure if there's one, two, three. Playing slow here. I don't want to overextend. Again, could be one, two, or three. If I overextended that, I would have put myself in a bad position. I only have a 9-9 nine, nine for close range. So you can't really afford to be super, super, super aggressive, right? Because if as soon as I unload one mag, I'm going to have to reload. And, you know, PK, you you could maybe do it, but that's such a huge risk. And then that it'll come down to your ability to aim and the, your confidence, right? So here I'm like, all right, man, like, I know I'm behind these guys. I know the other team is further out west. So I'm like, okay, I might have a chance to actually push in and get some picks here. This is a decision where it's like, okay, I'm, I know my aim is good. I know my abilities, so I know I can play that close quarters combat with at least one, two, maybe three guys. I'm confident enough to do it, but so I was like, all right, I'm pushing in, get shots at Wraith, 120 damage here. She doesn't have much HP here. Big mistakes. She should have died instantly here. This, yeah, aim, 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 aim. Look at this. I only hit her. One, two, three. I hit her three times out of 27. Look at this. Wow, that's that's garbage. Aim, guys. Practice on your aim. It's really important. I actually had a comment. Someone was like, hey, man, how do you get more than 10? I'm, the guy was telling me I get 10, 15 kills every game, but I can't get the 20 bomb. And he was asking me, like, how do I get it? Well, aim. If, if you can get 10 to 15 kills consistently, continuously, then the problem that you have is your aim. I'm assuming your game sense is your mechanics are good because you can drop 10 to 15 kills and win, right? So you, obviously you know what you're doing. But the big problem, if you want to break that ceiling of like that 15, 16, 17 kills to get those 20 plus is your aim. Like, look at this. Just here, right here. All right, I'm losing. Like, this is end game, right? It's, it's, it's not that. Well, I mean, it's still important. I want to get the knocks and win. But if that thing was early game and if this guy had like his teammates right next to him and like close to him right here. So, hey, I'm here. I'm trying to get the shots. I know he's one hit, right? But I'm pushing in. But imagine if like a teammate is right here. His teammate is right here waiting for me. This guy should have been knocked initially outside. But now because my aim was not good, my aim was garbage. This guy got to Q and get inside. And most likely he's going to get back up from his team, right? So that was my point where let's say a pro player hits like 30% of his shots. And you hit probably 15 or 20% of your shot. Well, I mean, I'm shooting thousands of bullets in a game. So that's like hundreds of hits. Maybe well, let's 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 uh, let's tone it down a little. Let's just say hundreds of bullets, and then let's just say ten hits. So the top player that hits thirty percent of his shots will hit like ten more shots in a game than you, right? So that could be the difference between you getting knocked and you wiping an entire team. So right here is the best example. So this guy should be knocked right here, right? I should not have to push in and then to try and finish him. And you'll see I do it here. So he should have died here. It's a mistake. Going, I'm like, all right, shoot. I'm going right in. But you'll see I scout. I spot the Octane. But in my mind, I'm like, hey, man, this guy is one tap. I know he's one tap. I did the math in my head. This dude's one tap. My health isn't great, but I know. So my thought process was like, hey, man, I have my E. So if anything, I shoot this guy once right away and then try to bail that was the whole point but again this whole situation should never have happened this guy should have died way earlier way 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 earlier. So that's a huge mistake by me I could that could have been the game right there right so again I'm, I know I'm repeating myself but people that are asking like to break that 20 bomb ceiling those are like the little little things like this that will make the big difference and the little thing is gonna be your aim the results are your aim so the better your aim, the less you'll be put in that kind of situation when you have to, you're have you chasing the kill. You don't want to chase the kill. You just want to, boom, you get the knock, heal up, and then move on to the next teammate, and then wipe the team, right? 
All right, so huge mistake on my part. The bottom line here, although, is just really aiming. So I see the Octane that's going to come in to help. So again, as I said, I know I have my Q up. So the, my, my goal here, my, 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 my thought was like, okay, I'm going to knock this guy E out and then heal up and then fight the, the two, his two teammates, right? I get her and then I'm realizing that the door is not open. So as Wraith, you guys will know if you Q, you can't open doors. So I noticed that. I look at the door and I'm like, oh shoot, the door is closed. So if I Q, I'm going to be stuck at the door. I'm going to have to go all the way back and then run through that octane. But he's going to see my trail. He's going to chase me. And then the odds that I get down are super high. So here's what I did. I had gold armor. That's also a thing that you have to keep in mind. I know I have gold armor. So what I did is I, oh shoot, I'm going to line of sight. I get a jump here, dodge a few bullets, and then pop the battery as soon as you can. Use the door as your line of sight. Octane comes in. That's his other teammate. The Bangalore comes in. Now, oh my goodness. Again, huge mistake. I panicked here. I'm not going to lie, guys. I panicked. I panicked. 100%. You can you can be the best player in the game. There's going to be spots that, you know, you're, they're going to make you panic. So right here, I know I'm so low. This guy has a peacekeeper. And then his teammate comes in, Bangalore. And then that, oh, look at this. He's staring at, dead in my eye. I'm like, oh my goodness. Not going to lie. I was like, oh. Super stressed here. Missed all my shots. You see my tracking was terrible. I just queue out. I even miss here. I didn't know where to go. Thankfully, I get some cover. Thankfully, I get some cover. And I heal up. These guys did not push me. So they're going to be going for the res. I know that. I couldn't finish though. Now that's the other team shooting at me. Look at this. Alright, so... I just bailed from this team, I knocked a guy, I couldn't get the finish, so they're going to be rezzing. So in my head, I'm like, alright, it's still going to be two full teams. Well, I don't know about that team, but I'm, I'm assuming it's two full teams. They're going to be rezzing, they're going to be full. I also know they have peacekeepers, they have like, their loadout is pretty decent. One has blue, one, yeah, one has purple. So, I know all those intel, this is something that I talked about in my first video, where you need to gather intel in this game. You need to know what your teammates have, like their loadout, like hear the gunshots the footsteps where they are you, you need to gather intel man you need to reduce the amount of lock in the game so by gathering intel now i know almost all of their loadouts i know what i'm gonna have to fight right but i get shot by the team that's all the way out there boom i get charged rifle by the team that's all the way out there now storm is closing too i'm such in trouble like it's a terrible position look at this look at the look at the field that i have I'm, i have to go through here all right look at this this is what i'm going through right here the storm is going to be closing. This is going to be outside the zone. Now, I, all I, this is going to be outside the zone. I'm stuck in the open here, guys. I I queue here hoping that these guys are going to let me go and just focus on the, the team that's rotating to the right. That's a mistake on my part. I should have saved my Q here and dodged the bullets, if anything. So here, I should have saved Q, but eh, it's I actually, made, I don't know. It, it was a tough decision, I guess, because I did get shot. Either way, so I use my Q and then I'm stuck, right? This is this is where I'm like, oh my god, this is I should not be showing this to you guys, but at the end of the day, again, it's just we're here to get better, right? So I'm right here. Um, I know there's a team here and there's also a team to my left. So I'm completely pinched. So there's a guy. I'm looking at the map here, guys. There's gonna there's a team right here and there's a team right here. Like how bad is this positioning for me? I have no cover but this rock here. Alright, so I'm popping a cell here. I'm trying to get heals. And then I get absolutely popped again to the bottom left. Look at my health. And then here, oh my goodness, look at this. I missed all my shots on this Bangalore. I, again, I panicked. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I absolutely panicked here. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so dead. Like, what the hell have I done? I put myself right in the middle of both teams. They're both shooting at me now. There's no way I'm I'm, I'm living this. So when I took shots at this Bangalore, my heart, my heart rate was like through the roof. I'm not even lying to you guys. So look at this. I missed all my shots. I hit her once. I hit her once with the 9-9, nine -nine, man. That's crazy. All right. So regardless, I'm trying to, you know, I'm like, okay, I missed all my shots. But yeah, I know I missed all my shots. But I'm like, hey, man, you're free squad carry. Like, you still got this. You got it, man. So I pop a battery here. Obviously, the gold armor just came in clutch. Uh, gold armor is just super clutch. I'm not I'm not going to deny it. So gold armor comes in super handy here. Again, I get beamed by the team. I'm still, look at this health. My health is super low. I, 
Oh my goodness. I get the battery. I almost get knocked, but I do get the battery off. And now at this point, I need to I need to kill people. Like I need to uh, it's it's my time to shine now, okay? I have to counter pressure these guys because the team that's right next to me is is also getting shot by the team that's up top, right? Unless they're focused firing me, which they could be. But in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use this side of the rock. So here, I'm gonna use this side of the rock because these guys are lying of sighting, right? They're hiding from the team that's all the way up top here. So in my, my mind, I'm like, okay, I need first I need to get on the other side of the rock to dodge that one team that's at top right, that's got high ground. And then I have to make these guys run out in the open. So I have to output the most amount of damage. But, you know, you see that Bangalore has a PK. So that clone drace, like 2v1 close range like this guy is just not, it's 99% of the time you will get down. You will get down. Like a 2v1 in the open like that, it, the odds that you get down or just through the roof, right? You have no cover. It only that guy's a PK. Like, it only takes one shot, maybe. Well, it actually does. It, only one bolt, like one pump, and I'm dead here. So, terrible decision, but honestly, it's all I could have done at that point. Like, I don't see myself being able to do anything else but to go up and out pressure these guys as best as I could. This is my time to shine now. I gotta out pressure these guys because they're being shot as well. So, here we go. Thankfully, I get a knock on that Watson. And then again, I missed all my shots on that Bangalore. Man. Whew. Aim, guys. Aims. Just relax and focus on your aim. Look at this. So I get pretty good shots on the Watson here. But that Bangalore, again, so hard. I don't know if she's hard to hit or my aim was bad. Honestly, it's probably my aim. But, all right. So what happens here? Cool. This is a good spot. This is a good thing. So I miss all my shots on the Bangalore again. These guys are shooting me. They're throwing nades. Everything's going on. I have barely any HP left. So it's like, okay, dude, this is my cue. She's knocked. I did what I had to do. I knocked one. Now the team that's up top might be thinking, yo, one's got knocked, so we're gonna be pushing. So they could be giving their high, giving up their high ground. I'm hoping that. But here, so what happens is, all right, I'm queuing out. I know I knocked a guy. So the Bangalore that I try to get, that I try to shoot at. She's going to be under huge pressure. Her teammates down, and then there's a full team shooting at them. So I Q, and then I just improv. Here I'm like, wow, there's absolutely no way for me to go. Look at this. Where can I go? I can maybe use this rock, but these guys have they have high ground that are probably going to be able to see. My Q is never going to be long enough for me to get inside, so they're gonna, they're going to see me. They're going to see the trail. They're going to be able to take some shots. So here I do a little trick. This is a little trick for you guys. It's the zipline trick, I guess, or the balloon trip. You get on the balloon and then you just spin as fast as you can. Look at this. Whoop. I'm spinning. The reason why, you'll see I'm they're shooting at me. And the reason why I'm spinning is because your character animation as you go up the balloon or the zipline, when you spin it, your character spins around the line as well. So it makes your character harder to hit. And I really, you can see here, I did not want to get hit. I'm like, you can see with the hand cam, if you look at the hand cam, look at me just cranking, crank, 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 crank. I'm a, I almost pulled a muscle here. And then I didn't finish, I didn't want to complete the zip line, complete the, you know, where your rockets turn on. Because I was like, man, if, look at my health, like, they could just beam me, take their 3199 and just beam me while I'm flying down. So what I thought at that point was like, hey man, cancel the the balloon right before it's all the way up top so i get height and i can you know weave in the air and like kind of get into a good position and also pop a heel this is super important but i made a mistake again here i wanted to pop a phoenix skin right so look you can heal as you're dropping down right so my goal here was to pop a phoenix as I'm coming down. So when I landed, the phoenix would have finished and I would have been full health. And it would I, I, you're hard to hit if you're dropping down like without the rockets on or your jetpack on. You're dropping pretty fast. So you're really hard to hit. So I was really confident at that point that I could get that full phoenix kit out. But unfortunately, I did not have the phoenix kit out. I had a battery out, so I had to land and then pop a phoenix. I was lucky here that the Bangalore altered, so it kind of like toned down the pressure that the other team was doing, the team that was high ground. Let me go back here. You'll see Bang altered. So yeah, I know I know right now that 
okay, like it's gonna be people that are gonna be calm down, they're gonna be slowing down, they're probably gonna be hiding the heal because of that Bangalore ult. And then I spot this guy right here. You're gonna see me take a few shots, an octane, crack the shield, I did about 110 damage. And now the other team's pushing again. They're like, I, I feel I feel I was getting focus fired by both teams at that point. So again, I got lucky here where there's a crate. You can see my 99 is running out of ammo. No more ammo, so I'm taking whatever is in that crate. If it's a L Star, if it's a Mastiff, if, even if it's a Kraber, I'm taking it. I only have a mag left of the 99. This is gonna be completely useless. I know there's two teams, so yeah. At that point, nah, nah, nah. It's a no, no. I'm taking whatever is in the crate. Hopefully, it's a gun, and then you'll see. Before I actually take the gun, the octane jump pads all the way up, and you'll see. I take some shot. Notice doesn't have a shield. I get the knock. It was an L star, so I get the L star. Now, I barely, barely ever use the L star, so that's another mistake. I guess it's just an overall mistake where I just don't know the recoil on this gun. I just do not know it. I've never used it. It's probably my second time using it. I don't practice in, in firing range. I just don't care about it. But, again, big mistake here because this gun is like it's my life right now. This is what's going to save my, my, my life pretty much. And I'm depending on it, but I just don't know the recoil. So that affects my confidence. Like, I know, okay, yeah, I know this is a good gun, but I don't know the recoil. But hey, it's all I got now, so I have to deal with it. So here we go. Now oh, it's my first experience with the recoil. I realize, okay, it's a hard pull. I think it's right, left, right, left. It's pretty. It's a pretty hard pull. So I get a few damage on this guy. I knew, once again, I knocked the octane earlier, so I know there's an octane right here. And the whole point here is... I want to get that knock on this guy here. They're fighting. You can see the bullets going on. Here is a team right here. So I know they're split. There's that team all the way out there. So here it's just, okay, visual, intel again, sound, what the hell is going on. I know the octane is crawling somewhere up here. So I want to get the finish here. Like I'm trying to get, I'm trying to eliminate people one by one here. That's all I can do. I cannot take a full team face on with the position that I'm at. So I'm just trying to pick off people. I was able to pick off that Octane, so in my mind, I'm like, alright, dude, I'm going in, I'm trying to finish this guy as quick as I can, that's one less guy to deal with. So I do that right here. Now, my loadout right before that was the L-Star and a triple take, right? What a terrible loadout to have at the end like that. So, I was also in the back of my mind where I was like, I need a better gun than a triple take, because now we're going to be close range, right? This this whole, here, let me just go back again, excuse me, sorry about that, but look at this, look at the circle. This is the worst circle I've ever seen, right? I know this is going to be a close range ending. Regardless of what happens, we're going to be fighting close range. L-Star is super dope for that. It's super good. But again, I'm not feeling super confident about it because of the recoil. I know there's two squads left. So here, I just want to get the knock again. We yes, asked to get one less players to deal, player to deal with. But I also need to swap that triple take, man. I need something. And thank God, this guy had Peacekeeper. I get the 9-9 first, but I realize, yo, no, 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 no. This is going to be so close range. That, that Peacekeeper, I can just two-tap people, right? The, the Peacekeeper is just broken right now, guys. I'm sorry about that, but hey, it's the, it's the, way, the way it goes. So I get the PK. I get a few... Uh, it's actually a fully decked out PK. And here, I'm just listening, trying to figure out what's going on. And then the zone's starting to close. You'll see, boom, zone's closing. I have my alt. I have my E. Now here, look at this zone, man. God damn, this is a terrible zone. So I know I have to rotate super quick. I know nobody's rotated yet. They're still fighting here, so I have to haul ass and just get to this side here and take take the take the positioning here. I want to get there before any of them get there. So I'll alt and I'll E right away. I want to get as fast as I can here. Once again, look at the velocity. Look at my speed go through the roof once I do alt plus my Q. Look at this. I go 418 and then I go almost 700. Look at this. I go twice as fast. I'm literally two times faster than anybody else. And these guys do the same thing. Obviously, they have to because, again, the zone's closing. And now we're, we're having a sweet funnel. This tunnel was beautiful, right? So now at this point, these I know both teams are going to have to come through this tunnel. There's no way there's one guy that went all the way around here to go and then get into the zone. There's no way the guy would have died. So I know 100%. I'm guaranteed both teams are going to be coming into that tunnel, right? So you're going to see me here. Boom. Get the cover. I get this corner. I know they're going to be coming out. And then here they are. Again, this is the L-Star in action with a really pretty hard recall. But hey, so look at the kill feed. Ring. 
So someone died, two guys died to the ring. There's a squad that just died to the ring. Now I know it's me against two guys. Also, one thing that's pretty cool is the Digi on the L-Star, right? That smoke from the Vangalore is just not good. Look at this. I get some free shots here. That smoke was pretty not a good play. I play Bangalore as well. I'll actually make a video of uh, playing Bangalore probably eventually, but you don't want to use your smokes late game. Bangalore, don't use your smokes late game, man. Reason is, it's pretty simple. Late game, the odds that someone has a digi is like through the roof. You can use your smokes to rotate, but don't use your smokes to fight close quarter. Don't be like, yo, I'm going to smoke... Like, we're, we're, we're almost touching each other, so I'm going to smoke so, like, I can probably, you know, get some surprise. Don't do that, man. Most of the time, late game, someone's going to have a digi and just going to get beamed through it. So, I get some shots. I get a knock here. I know this guy. Like, these guys. Look at this. These guys are... Let's go back. Right here. Like, this is such a bad positioning for them. Look at this. There's nothing else they can do, man. That port goes all the way back. These guys are stuck here. There's absolutely nothing else they can do. So, here, I'm just... Okay, well... Play slow, free squad, just get shots, get the knock. Well, you'll see me go back here. I'm taking this really slow. I go back and heal. There we go. Pop the battery. I don't think this was a mistake at all here. It's just me. You know, easy shots. I knocked this guy. This guy was knocked initially. This guy had self resin and boom. That's it. So, here we go, dudes. And girls, this this was a this was a game. This was a game filled with mistakes. Again, as I said. A lot of mistakes were made in this game. Going over it as a VAR review is really cool because I did see some things that I can improve. Well, obviously, I always see things that I can improve on. But once you go over your game like this, you're, you're, you can learn so much, guys. Like, again, like I know I've talked about this earlier, but people are like, hey, man, like, how do I get better? Yeah, you got to practice. But if you look at any, like, sports, I guess, non-esports, conventional sports, quote-unquote, all the professionals, all the top players are watching film like watching their practice for i i used to play football college football so for us it was like, hey man practice three hours a day and then we'd watch film like we would watch the practice that we just had and then we watch film for two to three hours watch film analyze like what what did you what you did wrong tell the coach like what you were thinking at that time what you could have done better so the VAR reviewing is an absolute it's key in this game so you guys should just stream yourselves or record your game you can stream yourself privately too if you don't want to have the pressure of someone looking at you and then and then just go out play and then later that night the day after before you play again just look quickly at your VOD man look at what you did like how did you die one thing is Look at your mistakes, man. Don't look at your highlights. Don't be that guy that just looks at this VOD and like, oh yeah, that was great, that was great, that was great. Just don't do that, man. Go look at the VOD and then be critical about yourself and improve, man. So here, that's it, guys. Uh, that was a pretty long video. Timestamps will be uh, will be uh, in the description. So hopefully you guys learned stuff. Uh, it was really fun for me to do. I'm gonna be pumping more and more of those videos if you guys like keep keep want, like if you want them if if you if you learn from uh, from those. So yeah, hope you guys had fun. Hopefully, hope you guys hopefully you guys learned some stuff, and I'll see you soon. See ya.